Los Angeles, California has the third biggest homeless population in the United States. And today, it's my job to make sure there's one less hungry person on the streets. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, man, I got you. Would you like a Baconator, fries, a drink? Is that cool? All right, what's your name, man? Israel, God bless you, Israel. I got you. I'll be right back, man. One Baconator combo, please. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I got you a Sprite, large fry, to a Baconator, man. I was homeless myself, so I, I want to make sure you get on the right path. And, you know, you're always able to, you know, get back on your feet. You know, so I, I want you to enjoy this. I ain't gonna be able to watch this. I'm not gonna watch this. Bro, I don't think I'm gonna be able to watch this, bro. This shit gonna get me tight. <laughs> Bro, that shit just got... I don't even want to watch this video, bro. Yo, people... Mentally, bro. Then again, y'all... I don't know his comments. And it, was, it was a prank. It was a joke. All this, bro. What are we doing, bro? For clicks. What are we doing, bro? Y'all niggas is selling y'all souls for clicks. Willing to do anything in order to get that view or that like, bro. Like, come on, son. Shit is not entertainment no more. Like, shit is on, y'all on some weak, weird shit, bro. Like, my son thinking this not real. Like, why would you even do that? My son was looking good life, bro. All right, take care. Have a nice day. I don't because you know what's so crazy about this is not only that he did that, but also like he's a cameraman who's like walking around with him who was like who actively like watched him do that and thought that it was like acceptable for him to do shit like that. Niggas is smack yo. Like, I ain't even violent, bro. Niggas is smack you in real life, bro. You wouldn't do that shit to nobody, bro. You feel like you got power over him, so you did that, bro. That shit just got me hot, bro. Like who be raising y'all niggas, man? That shit is really getting me hot thinking about. What, what 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 compelled you? What made you wake up that morning and was like, this is what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be clicks, likes, ah, like this is this is the one. Like you niggas a smack you, my nigga. Niggas a niggas a dead violate you all crazy. You wouldn't be none of that. You would never do that shit again. I don't trying to get attention by any means. By by literally any means. You know fuck what it costs. Terrible person, bro. He got it though. Without that, it out. That clip was shared everywhere. Yeah, I hope and I hope he got the worst. And I don't even be praying the worst on niggas. I hope you got the worst feedback from some shit like that. Like that way, and I think then after And I don't want to hear no apology. I don't want to hear none of that, nigga. I want to see niggas smack the shit out of you. That shit really got me hot, bro. I'm cursing early. You hear me? Heritage, not hate. So, I mean, he just, he's seeking attention. He basically, like, he's trying to do the most flagrant thing possible to yeah. get attention. It's, it's not even in good taste, and it's not even, like, it's not a real effort at content. This at is all, just, bro. Like, it's just, you know what it is? It's some reactive type shit. It's some, I'm going to do some outlandish shit I'm going to put on the internet, and you guys are going to react to it. But it's going to be good. Well, Chris Brown said it the best. He said, "Good all publicity is good publicity. So, for him, for this nigga, it's just on some... It is what it is. My name could get tarnished, but y'all recognize me. I'm getting these views. I'm getting these likes. I'm getting these subscriptions or whatever the case may be. And then probably he's going to try to do some shit like later on, try to switch his image around. But again, you've tarnished your name. Like, so niggas know you for doing that. So anything after that is it's going to matter, but not really. bro. Because we know you for doing this, bro. Just to get in the door, it's not worth it. Bro. How many people can I frustrate with the next dumb thing I do? Literally, literally not that's worth all it, it is. And what's even worse is that like people do this stuff expecting it to like catapult their career. Literally, yeah, and it's that's exactly what you're going for. Not, you're not even doing that. Either. And then and it's, it's, it it sometimes it happens, but in the other times, bro. Minimum, at least you could argue you're getting something out of it. But bro, like mm -hmm. you're you're not doing anything. You're making yourself look like a terrible no person. Return. He just thinks that I just gotta outdo the last. Yeah, outdo the last ridiculous thing. I always question, especially when it comes to like. And, and all you're doing is getting, all you're doing is just getting in in the, in the wrong, you're, you're, you're putting your energy in the wrong place, bro. The energy you got to make that video do something creative, you can do, bro.
of like it's not like that. We were talking about this. Even recently. me, it I'm just kind still of feels like down. there's no bounds in which they're willing to go, mm. especially with the whole Logan Paul thing. Always, always keep thinking to myself like, bro, like every single time I see something like this, it just reassures that like it's critical people are of of like content creators. As soon as people get in front of a camera, bro, like they just they they also don't know that line. And I believe that this is like a very extreme example of this, right? But like, bro, like look at like I bought a a, a bomb into a classroom, um, walking around with a Confederate flag, uh, losing mental sanity in San Diego. He's probably going around just like like he's literally just making life making life more difficult for people. Like literally already have a difficult life who are literally already struggling, who are literally just trying to like live life in the most peaceful manner. And then you're going around there thinking that it's content. And it's an ongoing problem that like we've been having. This guy right here though was like by far, I've never seen nobody like the bounds that he's going to is crazy. How you gonna do that, man? That's some shirt. That's liquid chocolate. Man, you got some nice curls on you. Hey, thanks, man. You trying to make some extra money? I just wanted to make it right, dude. It's MLK Day, come on. Then he's getting kicked out on MLK I'm Day. Kicked out on MLK Day. God damn it, Starbucks. About to be an epidemic of these niggas. I'm about to say, bro. He's about to, he's about to just get yeah. worse and nah, worse. Bro. And what's even crazier is that, like, I think that in their mind, they're justified. In their mind, like, it's, it's constant. Fine. Like, it's just it's a prank. Like, I don't, they clearly don't understand, like, the, the bro, line in bro. which it's being crossed. I don't know. It's Real, this is real life, my nigga. And like he says, it's lines. It's, it's invincible lines out in the world. Like, even though you got a camera on, nigga, don't mean that, like, yo, bro, they're not living in reality or they're not in, like, real life, bro. You coming up to them camera and just doing some weird, wild shit and just being like, oh, it's a prank. Or like, oh, don't take it that serious. Like, no, nigga, you're violating, bro. I'm gonna keep telling niggas this, bro. Hopefully, this message gets across and this is, like, the norm. You violate, I'm going to demonstrate. That's it. My nigga, you cannot tell me how to react, like how to react after you violate it. I don't, I don't got to react like respectful or none of that, nigga. It's like the shit out of you. And then the cameraman that's recording him, you're another, you're also a dweeb. Nigga. You're not a real, like I ain't going to say a real nigga, but like you're just a, a bad friend or like not a stand-up guy. If anybody stand-up-ish would have seen that, I'd be like, nah, nigga, we ain't doing it. If you came to them with them, like, nah, nigga, we ain't doing that. For what? What do we what do we what do we gain it from this? Nigga, no, bro. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas moral compasses is off, bro. Y'all do y'all sell y'all family out, y'all do some vow shit to whoever to get to wherever. And that's not the kind of people that's not even the kind of shit you wanna pr uh Yeah. It's it's just it's just not it. <laughs> I'm getting, I can't even speak. I'm stuttering. I'm getting tight because this nigga, that shit is really pissing me off. Like, it's a mental problem that they have or that they genuinely just don't care, bro. Don't My care. My friend sold me as a slave. This Never. video is a year old. That means he's been trying for a year. And most people, when they say shit like, I've been trying YouTube for a year, they're all lying. But this nigga's been consistently uploading for at least a year. He's been trying, bro. And the most success he's seen so far is him teasing a homeless man with food. Like, because the slave, the, the slave selling didn't work the first time. So he had to just keep. So I'm saying, like, the end internet has fully incentivized everybody to be more egregious than the next and everybody mm -hmm. reacts because to niggas is not reacting to niggas react nigga, nigga, yo what people gotta realize is bro negative negativity sells <laughs> that's why they doing that shit they know they know the negative is gonna sell so them doing something smart fun or positive or funny or, or different is, is is it goes but so far they want to start off like this start off egregious because it's gonna make him want to poke at homeless people more because that's exactly. what works. But did it really work though? To him, when yeah, he's seen he's numbers he's never views. seen before across all a whole those bunch platforms. of views, a yes. bunch of comments, a whole bunch of likes. It might not be attention he wants. He might be burning through people way faster than what's sustainable. But it's, it's definitely not sustainable. No, it's, it's, not, it's not. But he got the attention he wanted. This is how you make a fucking thumbnail, bro. It's for a high school history project. It's for a high school. Get ready to call the police. No, listen. It's for a high school history project. You gotta lift your high. For what? You gotta lift your high. He's calling the police. He's PC. I knew it. <laughs> They're PC out here. Run, run to the car. Go to the car. He's he's calling the cops. Someone sits down next to you in a five-hour flight. Your worst nightmare is that they're wearing Axe body spray. Me here. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. 
<laughs> Yo, playback, mad love to you. I don't think I'm gonna be able to watch this shit, bro. Thing is wild. Hey, show him our uh, poster board. Oh, that's your exhibit? Yes, exhibit. And what are you doing with it? So, what we're talking is about the Underground Railroad. You know how there's routes that led to Illinois, correct? Well, my master will tell me what I'm up to. Tell him, master, what are we up to? Get your mask on now. Get your mask on now. I can't believe that that's... No way. That's, that's the a... issue you have with what he said, bitch? No way. Slaves go fail. Go right there, bro. That's funny. He was laughing his ass off. He was like, yeah. So he's literally just trying to top what he did last time. The problem though is like you said, like they're like, I don't even think they understand the concept of like how they create content. And so in their mind, this is like, this is not even a storyline to this. Egregious, egregious acts that gives a uh, repulsive or a big enough reaction is enough for them to be like, this is, this is it. You do some wild shit. Bro, this ain't it, my nigga. Y'all be safe, bro. Uh, like, as a fairly new content creator, my nigga, I know that ain't that ain't the route. No reason, no reason to sell, sell, sell yourself short just to take the easy route because you know, like, it'll get clicks. And again, it's not sustainable, like they said, bro. As far as niggas that's been doing it for a while, man, take it from me, bro. Even even people that used to do egregious things, bro. In the pricking scene, bro, they not around. Look around you. Who who's who's still around from that era that was just doing mad? You know what I'm saying? Mad like negative. Like, come on, bro. To a degree, I get it, but like y'all niggas is fake selling slaves and like man, I ain't even the home the homeless shit really had me hot, nigga. I I don't like I don't know how else to say it. That shit has me hot. I should have stopped the video right there, bro. Cause that. Y'all be safe, though. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this nigga, bro. I don't know, son. Son is on some weird, some weird shit, bro. Some pure fuckery, bro. If you ask me, go ahead. That's content nowadays for the youth, I guess.